Fear of the novel coronavirus has spread across the world as thousands have died worldwide, and the virus has now made its way out of China and into North America, Europe, and Australia. Governments are taking necessary precautions to prevent the spread of this highly infectious disease. However, the question must be asked from where did coronavirus come from? In fact, where do most viruses come from? To the ordinary person, it seems that viruses are created almost out of thin air, and they suddenly spread quickly from person to person before fading out of existence after a period of time. However, to those studying the viruses, the truth is a lot more complex. So, in today's video, we're going to try our best to break down how viruses and diseases emerge and spread through humans and then fade into obscurity after some time. Most viruses and diseases that sweep over humanity actually had their origins in other animal species, and then species hopped via a mutation over to humans. In some cases, the disease reached a peaceful coexistence with the animal. For example, several bats have deadly diseases contained inside them, but the virus does not affect the bat enough to kill it. Instead, the disease uses bats to help the disease spread to other host creatures and other creatures they can infect. In other cases, viruses were already deadly in other creatures. For example, chimpanzees have had very deadly diseases that wiped many of them out, which later spread over to humans. Some viruses are adapted for certain climates or regions and are better adapted at attacking certain types of organisms. Viruses have existed presumably since the beginning of the creation of life, and they have been evolving alongside all other life forms for as long as we can measure. Now, this begs the question, how exactly does a virus adapted to attack certain types of animals species hop over to humans? Scientists have determined by looking into the past that many types of agricultural and domestic animals have delivered deadly pathogens to us. That is, hanging around other animals that humans didn't originally hang around helped the diseases spread over to us. For example, smallpox was delivered to humans through camels, and measles came to us from cattle. Some humans have developed immunities to various diseases based on where they were born and whether their society had already spent significant time around certain animals. When Europeans first came to the American continents, it is well documented that many of the natives died off because our animals and Europeans spread diseases to them that their immune systems were not yet prepared for. Those that didn't have the genetics or the strength or the immunity to fight off what Europeans were already adapted to quickly were eradicated. Besides hanging around domesticated animals, another way that diseases can be transmitted to us is via bites. If you are bit by a bat or raccoon, rabies could be spread to you. In fact, raccoons are considered a rabies vector species, which means that rabies use raccoons to help spread itself to other animals. For this reason, if you are ever bit by any animal, even if it hardly left a scratch, it is important to get the wound checked out immediately. And in the case of rabies, there's a 99% fatality rate if you don't get it treated ASAP. Another way the diseases pass over to us is by contaminating our environment. Home infestation is becoming a huge problem in North America and Europe, with wild animals taking over people's attics and other small areas inside of their home. When the animals then pass away or leave waste, such as urine or feces, this allows the diseases to become airborne and contaminate your air, or potentially food supply. A lot of people also don't consider the effect insects can have on the transmission of diseases. Technically speaking, mosquitoes are actually considered to be the deadliest creatures on Earth because they can spread very deadly diseases through blood contact, such as malaria, which kills up to roughly 1 million people every single year. Besides direct contact, viruses can mutate and become better adapted to branching onto another species. However, this is more likely to happen when humans are in close contact with a virus that is already affecting another species, or if we were bit by that species. Luckily, there are things you can do to take care of yourself and make sure that deadly diseases don't spread to you and harm you, your pets, or your family. The obvious things to do include taking care of your hygiene, removing trash and waste, washing your hands, and all that good stuff. Besides that, make sure you go to a hospital immediately if bit or scratched by a wild animal. Also, if you think you have a wildlife or pest infestation inside of your home, it wouldn't harm to get a free inspection done by Wildlife X Team International. 
We safely and ethically remove wild animals from your home and restore any damage that they may have caused. We make sure that your air quality is great and that there are no diseases that could be spread to you from wildlife and pests secretly in or around your home. You can check out our website at www.wildlifexteam.com or you can give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE and these two links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave us a like and comment what you think in the comment section below. We'll see you later. They're out there looking for a home and they found one, yours. They want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call and they're gone. 855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.